Hi, I'm Chuck Dransfield in Hollywood, and I am standing in front of the former Columbia Pictures location. I thought this was relevant because I've been talking so much about the actors in the strike, and it's time to give some due to the writers because the WGA is also on strike at this time. And I was reminded of a beautiful story my friend, my wonderful friend, Evelyn Keyes told me. Evelyn was a movie star back in the 40s and she was under contract here at Columbia. And she was quite close with studio head Harry Cohn. That's another story to itself, I won't tell here. But anyway, Evelyn was a frequent dinner guest at his home. And she told me that Harry loved surrounding himself with writers. He had tremendous respect and love, almost reverence for his writers. So almost every night at this huge long dinner table, and it was like the stereotypical movie mogul where he would be sitting at the head and he would actually have four telephones in front of him on the table. But he, every night he would invite studio writers to his home to wine and dine and just to sit at the table and converse and toss ideas around and Harry would sit there listening to all of this and absorbing it and Evelyn said that she was in heaven herself because many of these writers were coming up with ideas that would later become motion pictures Harry was a very smart man in that respect and he knew that a big lifeblood for his movies were his writers and he knew how to treat them well so I wanted to bring that up because we need studio heads who think along those terms once again.